The rapid growth of Shia Islam in the African countries is the outcome of tireless efforts by the small number of Islamic institutions in this vast continent. The Ahlul Bayt Islamic Center in Tanzania is one of the most active centers which propagates the culture of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon him, has managed to attract a great number of people to Shia Islam. Sheikh Abdurrahman Maash, a cultural and religious activist, will explain more on this topic. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. We headed toward Tanzania in Africa to the city called Arusha. This travel took place due to the invitation and request made by the Ahlul Bayt Islamic Center in Tanzania in Arusha city. The goal of this trip was to check up on the progress of this Islamic center and to hold short-term courses for students in there. The short-term courses included rhetoric, beliefs, manners, history, and commentary of Quran. The purpose of holding such courses was to improve the students' skills in the mentioned fields and to give them the necessary needed skills for succeeding. This was one of the activities held in this center, next to other activities such as holding daily congregational prayers, reciting Dua Kumail, Dua Tawassul, and Dua Nutba that are performed on the weekly basis. Beside these mentioned activities, there are sport activities that the students participate in. They also took charge of some courses, and I hope that these students would have enjoyed and benefited from them. I would like to thank the cultural organization of as for their help and support, and I also would like to thank Mr. Saleh Ashur for his continued support. This Islamic center is considered one of the most important centers in the African continent. This Islamic center is considered one of the most important centers in the African continent, with hundreds of students enrolled in this center. I also would like to thank the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Salah Shirazi for his support. It was because of his broad vision that this center and many other centers in Africa were built under his supervision. His Highness wants the world to benefit from Prophet's household teachings and lessons. At the end, I thank the Almighty God for his endless blessings.